having fished with this Shimano Corrado BFS for a couple months now. I'm able to share my findings and thoughts on the thing. Yeah, I think I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it will be, guys. Coming. Yes. Stay on, Mr. Perch. Yes, 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 I turned this day around guys, I turned this day around, definitely, it was hard going, I could not find big perch anywhere, but yeah, finally. And as with everything these days, it has two sides. The first one is very very dark one, and that's the real when you grab it out of the box. But on the bright side, it has plenty of fantastic features and those features do make me to stick with the reel and not sell it. So I will cover all of it during this video and in my opinion this video will be useful for someone who is looking to buy the reel or someone who bought the reel already but is not happy with the performance this reel should and can pump out. So it will be a good one, please make sure you stick around. I will start with what you get with the reel when you buy it. So the reel itself obviously, with no line on the spool, then some paperwork, the box, which everything comes in, and also very very important bit, that's a couple of, or a couple little bottles of oil, different uh, thickness oil as well, and you will need it, that's very very good step from Shimano, and right step as well. Okay, that's the contents what you get. And now about the reel itself. Basically I will start by looking how the reel looks like and what it has. As you can see it's a tiny little reel. Like the side plate is really tiny. I can almost hide like this. Easy can hide with couple of my fingers. So tiny little reel and very very comfortable to palm it. Then moving parts right no wobble here which is great in any position that's awesome then the movement in the knobs is not existent as well which is very very good to see from shimano i did not adjust them and i won't because they are so good and both of them as well then very little movement on the main shaft i guess you call it very very little movement if I will hold the spool, there is like no movement whatsoever almost. Like if I would go hard on it, then yes, there is a little bit. But again, that's a problem on most bait casters. And on this one, it's actually less, which is very good to see. Then it has a little bit of movement. If I will try to go, you know, like with uh, like turning the handle. So. Let's make the let's make sure that the drag is nice and tight. But again, this movement is like when you're really looking for it, and it's like not uh, not hard stop if you like. So when you will be fishing, you will not notice that. And when I was you know multiple times taking the reel apart, I kind of found where this issue is. I might I might fix it, but I just might leave it because it's not a, an issue really when you fishing it you won't notice it so yeah those are the main moving parts and also drag star so it clicks I believe it's made out of some plastic I believe because it might look like it's metal but when I was taking it apart it looked to me that it's too light it must be some plastic clicks and clicks are nice then when you when we come to the drag right i believe on the box it says yeah three and a half kilos here uh i would i would argue with that i would say maybe half of that maybe 1.5 2 kilos something like that because 
I had a few big fish on the thrill already and I had my drag, you know, set at max and the fish was still taking line and the fish, you know, was not as big. But again, for BFS, that's, you know, adequate and you will be happy with that anyway. Also, uh, the drag is clicking type. Which is very great, but the clicks could be louder. But again, uh, on windy days, when you will be fishing in the wind, most likely you won't even hear the the clicker, but you will feel it because you know that clicker is kind of creating micro kind of vibrations on the reel's body, which is metal as well, or the main frame is metal, but the side plates are uh, plastic. But yeah. Still, it's good that they included a drag clicker. Very, very well done, Shimano. Okay, I believe that's the last of moving parts to cover and that's the spool tension knob. This one does not click and is very, very stiff to turn. It's a plus that it's quite stiff to turn and it's stiff because it has a big and, you know, thick o-ring in here so it means that oil won't be able to come out and water get in as well but it creates quite a bit of resistance but again it's not only that it will prevent the liquids going in or out but also it makes sure that you won't turn it by accident which is not a bad design really quite like it then braking system adjuster this is where Shimano failed, I believe, because this one is kind of very difficult to adjust. You have to use a nail, really, and if you will be adjusting it often, you just will mess up your nails and, you know, you will be bleeding, I guess, after days fishing again. But if you will be changing lures a lot, you know, it's only then. But on the plus side, you won't turn it by accident. No way. It's kind of semi concealed as they say it's very difficult to turn it when you want and when you don't want it's impossible uh, then if you want to remove the side plate then you you have to flip the switch and twist the side plate downwards so and this is where the magic happens really this braking system, in my opinion, or at least from the reels which I have and tested, this one is the fanciest by far. And you can tell really because when you are casting out, it just, you know, kind of make sure that you won't get a, a bird's nest that easy. So yeah, that's a very, very good engineering from Shimano. Impressive, actually. Then I will show you the spool if you are interested. Tiny little spool, as you can see. I won't go into measuring it. Uh, I just know that it's about 30 millimeters in diameter, I believe, and weighs about 9 grams. Now, I will quickly sum up what I do like about the thrill a lot. And really, those things are the ones which kind of are forcing me to keep using the thrill and not sell it. So, and there are quite a few of them. First of all, I like that the reel is so tiny, you know, see? My hands are not huge, they are more or less average, and the reel just, you know, sinks into my hand or into my palm. It's so small and I love it. Then, I like that it has that, even though it's not loud, but drag clicker, you know, I did not have to worry about getting it and stuff. Now it's out of the box and it works. That's great. Since the casting performance is really great on this reel, I believe if you want to, you know, to start BFS fishing, don't go and buy maybe cheapest reel you can get because it just won't perform when it comes to the casting and you will be getting more bird's nests. Basically, this is Shimano, yes, it's not expensive, or not cheap, should I say, but still, it's not crazy expensive. And if you can afford it, 
I would say go for it because casting performance really is great and you will be kind of getting less bird's nests and you will be enjoying more from the start. Also, I very like that the reel feels solid. I mean, it feels just sturdy. Everything is sturdy, no like extra movements anywhere almost, you know, it feels solid piece of, you know, metals and plastics in the hand and that's great. Also, what I like about this reel a lot that it enables the angler to add or remove extra magnets. Basically, there are two banks of magnets, of force, and you can add or remove some magnets. Now, I removed actually because I'm using, as you can see, there are a couple of magnets in this bag here. So I removed them from here and it's easier to remove, you know, you just grab something metal and they just will stick to it and pop out. And that's great engineering because when you will need more drag power, you can put the magnets in or extra magnets in. And that's just great, great engineering from Shimano. Love it. On the same note, when it comes to removing the side plate, you won't remove it by accident because you have to perform two actions. So click this or flip the switch and then turn the side plate itself. So it's very unlikely, you know, that you will be able to lose a side plate by accident, you know. That's great engineering as well. And when it comes to braking system performance, which is called FTB, I believe it stands for Finesse Tuned Braking, I guess. So it's difficult to show it like on my table here, but it performs very well whilst fishing. And I will try to show you something as well. In my opinion, this braking system performs better even on the table basically I will try to turn the spool quickly and you will see it slows down kind of it or loses a speed slowly I mean it goes for a while at slow speeds until it stops so very very on a few reels you will see this and in my opinion this is because of that fancy dynamic braking system which you know works uh, hardest when the spool rotates the quickest so at the start of the cast and then at the end it barely you know affects the spool so let's see see like at like last probably second or so the spool goes couple more turns on that or at that uh, very low speed kind of that speed fades out it's not like you know it's going going fast and then boom it stops this one it just kind of as they say the speed fades out if that makes sense or it stops slow <laughs> in my opinion that's very very fancy it's quite difficult to explain it in the words but it definitely behaves differently than a classic braking system with the fixed magnets and the spool rotates quietly as well which i like and now about the dark side of this reel basically in my opinion shimano failed when it comes to kind of putting the pieces together or assembling the reel. Basically, they used the wrong grease, in my opinion, and oil on the bearings as well. And when I took the reel out, and I will tell you this right from the start, it's not only my reel, you know, that I got unlucky with this exact reel. I got a friend who ordered a Shimano Aldebaran from Japan and he had the same problems as I had with this reel. And also I checked Shimano Curado in the shop, in the UK shop, and it felt 
out of the box exactly the same as this reel as my reel out of the box so i believe that the problem is universal and that the wrong oils and greases used when assembling the reels so what i had to do and i did that multiple times when testing different oils basically when i took the reel out of the box it felt tight but the power transmission was just terrible so what i mean by that i had to use lots and lots of energy on the handle to make the spool to go it was not grinding or anything it just felt you know that the reel is working like i don't know submerged in some i don't know frozen butter or something i mean it was so hard definitely you would not expect that from a you know quite expensive reel so at the start what i did i kind of took the side plate this one and greased main gears it helped a little bit but not a lot but then i was thinking okay i will start fishing with it maybe it it needs you know to go through the paces in a real situation but it did not did not really uh, help so the reel was still very very stiff and not smooth and just as i say the power transmission was terrible then i tried different grease on the gearing still it did not help and then third or fourth time i took everything apart so i actually removed all six bearings i believe i was able to find one in here couple in on on the side of the spool couple in here then here one on the main shaft if you like and then i kind of dunked them into the acetone and left there probably for 20 minutes basically i washed all my bearings from this reel and also i washed the main gears as well in the acetone and after that i used less sticky or thick grease on the main gears and i used this bfs oil which was supplied in the box and now reel actually is nice and smooth it performs so i won't have to sell it but at the start as they say that grease from shimano factory grease was almost like a jello you know uh, it had a little bit of it left in some places and it really felt like a jello you know so you don't want that kind of an oil in your reel that's for sure it's too sticky so but now the reel is okay for my use again it's not still it's not super quiet reel for example if i would compare this shimano curado bfs to piskefun alloy m that alloy m is much quieter and still much smoother uh, i will try to have you to listen to how this reel sounds you know now probably it's the best performance uh, it can be so have a listen guys So again, it's not bad. You won't notice that whilst fishing, especially, you know, if it's not super calm day, you definitely won't, won't hear that. But still, now the reel is super smooth and the power transmission is, is really good. See? See, my knobs are nice and light and still I can make my spool go just with one finger. As I say now, the power transmission and smoothness is in place, but I had to work for it. And yeah, guys, if you already have the Curado and you are not happy with the smoothness of it and the power transmission, just grab some acetone, take it apart and wash. Almost you can dunk the reel itself into the acetone and then clean everything and regrease and re-oil. So yeah. As I say, it was very, very important also for the casting distance to increase to use this very thin oil for the bearings for this one and also for the bearings which are in here. I will show you actually. 
if I can. Can't get it to work. Okay, you will see there is a bearing and there is one uh, below that as well. And those bearings, I will say as well, are of a better quality than those two ones which is in the side plate and this one. So yeah, those ones which has a black cover as you can see and those are very high quality bearings. So you definitely don't want to replace them because they are very good out of the box. So yeah, let's put everything back together. And whilst I do it, I will stress it once again, guys. Make sure that you clean these Shimano BFS reels if you want to get the peak performance, really. If you just will use it out of the box, they are, they are really quite quite bad i was not able to use it you know like and enjoy it most importantly i was thinking i will sell the reel you know because i don't like it after my first couple of sessions but then uh, i figured it out you know and now the reel is performing quite well and i am enjoying you know using it yes it has a couple of issues like when it comes to the adjusting the braking braking system or the brakes but again the braking system is so good that almost you don't have to use it as much. That's not a problem. And yeah, this little bit could click and the drag could be a little bit more powerful. But those are really minor issues. But the reel is light, tiny and, this, uh, and it's just pleasure to use. If you can get that power transmission fixed you know and for that you will need to invest a little bit of time as I say you will have to degrease all the main gears and wash the bearings in the acetone or isopropyl alcohol also what I will say guys I can easily recommend you this little set I have from Aliexpress uh, I'm using it for I don't know over a year now you know to take my reels apart and it's a great set or kit to, to take any reel apart also one thing which i'm not too happy about is a handle it's quite short i believe it's eight and a half centimeters long but it's quite thick as you can see you definitely don't need such a thick metal handle for a bfs reel which has very weak drag as well you just will never you know be close to bending the handle or something like that but again that's easy to fix uh, probably i will replace this handle with a carbon one i believe shimano did this just because you know to separate shimano scorpion bfs which is the same reel exactly the same reel same body same everything except the handle uh, well and the paint job but the handle there is thinner and the reel weighs i don't know five or ten grams lighter mostly because of that thinner handle so yeah they kind of was saying okay we don't want you know to uh, decrease the sales of the Scorpion because we are releasing the Corrado BFS. Let's slap on the heavier handle and the reel will be, you know, heavier and therefore cheaper, but uh, Scorpion sales won't be affected. Or at least that's my take on it. But again, you can easily get the carbon handle from AliExpress, longer one as well, and I believe I will do that. It will be like 10 extra pounds or something, but I believe I will stick with the knobs because I like the knobs. Shimano knobs are great. I like them. They are sticky and very good shape. I like them. So yeah, that's another little disappointment from Shimano. Okay, let's wrap it up, guys. As you can see, this reel definitely has plenty to go for. And especially when I was taking apart this reel, I kind of took my time to kind of think about every single part and engineering wise it's actually very very good I was impressed yes there are missing some bearings for example on the line uh, guide if you like or line supporting shaft from this side and from the sides there is only or there are only 
white bushings but i believe they are ptfe so but that's pretty standard again you can put your own bearings in there and it would be nice if the reel would come with the bearings out of the factory but again it is what it is it's not a problem and it works fine but just that one thing that grease and oils which they used across the reel is the main issue so definitely if you will be buying this reel or if you bought it already get it serviced and you will see that the reel will start to bloom and it will perform just much much better than one out of the box so yeah guys i will leave a couple of links for this reel and that link which i got this reel from on aliexpress it's cheaper there no matter where you are much cheaper at least it was for me like a 25% discount if I would uh, have bought it locally. Yeah, if you would like to get that reel from one of them AliExpress sellers, it's up to you. But that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.